Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and we're back again because Amberlynn is finally back herself. She finally posted a video after being off of the internet for, I don't know, I feel like it was at least almost a week. I'm not really entirely sure, to be honest. I didn't do my research and see how long it'd been. I just know it's been a while. It's been a little bit of time since she posted anything. Since she hasn't posted, I've posted a couple fun little videos being a little silly, so thank you all to everybody who watched and supported those videos. I actually had way more fun doing those than I have when I've done Amberlynn reaction videos lately. Not that those aren't fun too, but I was just like, let my, let my silly flag fly. Let my freak flag fly. It's pride month. I'm gonna be silly. I'm gonna be a little silly goose. But I will say one of them I did cover the tea about her blocking me. Um, so if you came to this video looking for information about that, I actually did cover it in one of the silly videos. I know some of you also might be wondering about my thoughts on Destiny's live stream that she did with her third fiance, Lexus. To be quite honest, I feel like Destiny was not trying to really spill tea. <laughs> and so I watched about half of it. I kind of thought it was boring. I saw some clips on Twitter. I don't really feel like I had anything substantial to say about it, so I don't. I mean, Destiny can tell us that Amberlynn was smelly all day, but at the end of the day, Amberlynn was a smelly girl that she was dating. So, you know, it is what it is. I don't have much more to add to it than that. So yeah, that really just brings us to today's video, which is just simply titled, I'm back. No bars, no vlog, no story time, just I'm back. Which I feel like does make it sound really dramatic, because it's not like she was gone for months. I think at most it was like a week, <laughs> but but you know what? Get after it, girl. There were a lot of people waiting for you to post something, so I think it's fair. I think it's fair, and I'm, I'm ready to see what happened. What took you away from us here on the internet? So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hello, hello. Hi. I'm actually, um, about to go to my 10th therapy appointment so uh, I have two more of course she's coming back to tell us about therapy again <laughs> of course I thought maybe I thought maybe we'd miss some of the therapy chronicles while she was away but nope I'm pretty sure we left off on the ninth therapy session the last time so actually now I'm kind of wondering if maybe she had this recorded and then something happened and she didn't record for a long time and it's one of those situation types of deals where she's like well I already had this so I'm just including this clip like are we going to get a little uh title card slide that says something like 12 days later or something like that um that are just like obligated but i'm definitely going to continue i just think that instead of doing it weekly i'm going to do every other week okay because it has been extremely pricey i'm Very sure pricey. insurance does not cover this therapist but that's okay so i just like i just like really got a question how she went about getting insurance and like oh yeah she said that whenever she found this person that they're not covered I don't understand why she does all that <laughs> let me say that because now that I remember I do remember getting annoyed that she picked a therapist that wasn't covered by her insurance because she was given a list of multiple therapists that she could go to and I'm like surely at least one of those people had to be covered but I don't know this is this is one of those times where like one I think that the, the U.S. healthcare system is fucked in terms of, like, I don't understand why our insurances don't cover all kinds of things and things like that. I think it's, like, real annoying and we could go in a whole rabbit hole about that. But it's also one of those times where I'm like, Amberlynn, are we sure we're not just, like, making this more difficult on ourselves <laughs> than, we're, than necessary, you know? I mean, I think it's, like, a both and. It's, like, a... I can see both sides of it and there's nuance there for sure, for sure. But I'm just, like... <sighs> so I have been pretty, for the lack of a better word, excited uh -huh. um, for my last few therapy appointments. But today, I just like literally do not want to talk at all. So ugh, I'm dreading it hard. <laughs> but I know that once it's over, I'm just going to feel a million times better. Uh -huh. So I just wish I can snap my finger and therapy can be done. I mean, that's what you would like to do with most things, I think. <laughs> I think with most things, you would like to avoid any of the hard work. Kind of, kind of like this. 
Okay, so therapy is not complete. So they are listening to music. I don't want to get copyrighted. There I go, choking on the cringe again. Not the potato, but the cringe. Choking on the cringe. Damn. Okay, I do love when when Amber Lynn tries to be be Edit Lynn Reed, but here we are. Here we are. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Um, this looks blurry. Oh, oh, my God. Yes, that looks better. They're the way, good. Like, the way we could have just not included any of that, any of that in there. And also, if Wifey is listening to music and you need to film, like, why don't you just go ask Wifey to turn it off? I don't know. Anyways. This is a little red because I'm having, like, a tooth problem, so I have to go to the dentist. Um, I don't know. Like, you could take care of your teeth. And it could still just say, you know what? I don't agree with your with your mouth. I don't like your mouth, so I'm just gonna hurt you. But my appointment, no, I'm good. I have more homework I have to do. I. <laughs> what is she? What? First of all, yeah, I know. Like literally, I I do believe it's possible to like take really good care of your teeth and still have teeth problems. But what do you mean? You're you're saying one of your your teeth is just like mm -mm, I don't like being in here. Get me the fuck out. I mean, I guess if I was stuck inside of Amber Lynn's mouth, I might also feel that way. But also, we're talking about a tooth. That's not how it works. <laughs> like a tooth isn't a sentient being that's like mm, I don't like it in here. Get me out. I mean, I get that's not what she's really saying. But I'm just like, what is what is going on? Because this also isn't the first time she's had teeth problems. It's a lot. <laughs> I feel like it's just getting a lot, a lot. But you know what? Uh, it's fine. I, I gotta do the work. I'm gonna do the work. When I say things like, I should have done this sooner, it's because every time I've gone to therapy, it's so surface level. Like, I still no! find myself just like... This is such a lie. I will continue including the clip in every single video where she says this, but literally when she went to the therapist that she got through the like outpatient eating disorder clinic or whatever it was. I don't remember what the specifically she called it, you know? But when she was going to that therapist, she talked about how deep they were going. I'll just include the clip because apparently she's just gonna keep glossing over the fact that that was a thing that she said. And I have had several therapists since starting YouTube and everyone constantly got on my ass because I would be like, this isn't working for me. It's too surface level. Well, there's two types of therapies. There's evidence-based and support-based. And nine out of 10 people actually are just doing support therapy, which is like, how's your day? Let's talk about it. What's going on in your life? Let's talk about it. Then there's evidence-based, which I've never done. I've always done support. Hate it. Evidence-based is like, here's your diagnosis. Let's work on that. Let's figure out the depths let's heal you from this shit i'm just like oh my god so i'm finally like seeing oh my god i should i just literally am so shook shook to the core i should have done this sooner she's acting like she's never never said all of these things before which is also interesting because i did get a comment from somebody that was like zach i don't understand why you believe all of amber lynn's lies and i was like i was very confused because I was like, I don't know in this specific video, like what lies I had allegedly believed or whatever. And the person clarified that they like didn't understand why I thought that she was actually like healing or doing better in therapy or like growing or getting better with her mental health and things like that. And I was like, I don't know. I appreciate that feedback because it did make me think I'm like, I don't know. Am I being too too like, I don't know, uh, believing of her when she says it. And I think a lot of like anything that I say when it comes to her mental health is like, I do want her to feel better. And so if she tells me that, I've got to believe it. But I also think I have been at a healthy level of skeptical, especially when she says things like, I've never gone this deep before because we have heard her say that before. And I do point it out every time she says that I haven't gone that deep before. It makes me wonder like, how deep is she really going with this? 
this therapist, like, how much work is actually being done. But I also think when there's, like, you know, I don't know that there's ever going to be anything that she can do to prove that she's actually grown just outside of, like, just continued changed behavior and things like that. Like, it's not like she can offer up, like, hard receipts <laughs> that show she has actually made progress with her mental health. And so, like, I'm not going to say too much one way or the other if she has, but I will say... In the past, she's claimed to have gone deep. And she, right now, you just heard her say, I've only ever gone surface level. And the last therapist I had, I talked very highly of her because uh -huh. I loved her so much. Like, I I, I love talking to her. But sure. there was this really big elephant in the room. <laughs> because, like, she was health at every size and... She was speaking about that. Yeah. And it just, it made me feel a little bit of disconnect because. Which is also why I was like, I don't know why you were going to her to begin with when you fundamentally disagreed with her, like, practice. <laughs> like, I think I disagree with a lot of the things that Amberlynn thinks about health at every size. I'm not convinced she actually understands what that term means, just to be clear and honest, which makes me question if she even understands where that therapist was coming from. But regardless of all of that, like, you you clearly disagreed fundamentally with the way that she practiced her therapy. So, like, why did you keep going back to her? It doesn't make no damn sense. Also, there is something in my eyes, y'all. It is killing me. Can you tell? Or do I look the same as I always look, Bessie's? I think it looks a little red. I'm so sorry. That's not how I feel. But with this therapist, it's very different because I'm allowing myself to not just do surface. I'm like going deep. Uh, and then, <laughs> who, who do you know about going deep? No, it's like, I have said, I wish I would have taken advantage of this in the past, but then it's like, everything happens for a reason. And it's like, if I would have uh, done this in the past, yeah. I would have never met this therapist. Every, and this every. therapist has helped me in ways that I really didn't think was possible, so I'm just like really grateful. Everything happens for a reason. I love, I love the cosmos, girl. Okay. We have a holly. A holly. A holly from the good old Amazon. Have a holly jolly Christmas. I was, I was expecting to get some kind of explanation about why she hasn't been here, but no, we're moving on to a, an Amazon haul. Can't wait to see what you bought, girly. So I'm loving these dresses. So. I got another one. I'm not a just girl. It. I do have some floral things. <laughs> this is... Oh. I love how often she's like, I'm not a floral girl. And I literally, the last time she said that in a video, like, put up a bunch of photos of all the times where she's been clearly wearing floral. So I just love how she's like, I'm not a floral girly. Girl, if you have more than one item, more than two items, more than three items in your closet with floral on it, I think it's safe to say that you might be a little bit of a floral girly, just a little bit. Dropped her. This is an off-white. Um, online it looked more white, but that's okay. It's, it's, with, it's um, giving eggshell. Floral. So, I thought this was cute. Okay. Box. I don't know why they don't just ship it all together because... That's the... I placed the order at the same time. Well, Bestie, that's because it's Amazon. It's not It's not about being less wasteful <laughs> by any means. I just also, you know, want to point out, like, the last video I reacted to of her was her learning about the, the horrors of Timu on Instagram since then, although she hasn't been posting a lot on Instagram, but on Instagram since then, she did post a thing about how, like, other brands like Nike are also awful and nobody allegedly gets mad about about Nike, which is also just not true. Like, you can't speak in absolutes about that when there are people out there who are upset with the way that, like, companies abuse workers and things like that. But I think it's funny that she's still out here <laughs> literally buying from Amazon, which also famously has had, even here in the United States, a lot of allegations of the way that workers are being treated here in the United States, right? But you know what? Buy some more Amazon, girl. <laughs> and I do have to say, just because, again, there's nuance to all of these conversations, and a lot of people always like to say there's no, like, ethical consumption under capitalism, and I do think that to some extent, but that isn't an excuse to buy 
things you don't need from places, right? Like, when people say that, it's because, like, some people only have the option of getting some of their necessary goods on Amazon. Like, some people can only go to certain stores to get their groceries. Some people can only eat at certain places because that's the only thing that's available to them. I think we can all agree Amberlynn doesn't need cheap jewelry from Timu or another one of the same exact dresses that she already has 12 of from Amazon. So in that way, you can try to be ethically consuming things from different places. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is a difference there. There is another dress. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. It's black and white leopard. Uh. Stunning. I love black. Hair. I can't wait to see her in that, actually. So that would be cute. I think she's gonna so look so good in that. And then I got this, because I have a lot of dandruff, so I got oh this God. like shampoo scalp <gasps> oh. massager thing, but yeah. it's for people with dandruff, so when I wash my hair, I like get really up in there, so I'm excited <laughs> to give that a try. Get really up in there, girl. I will say, we have one of those. I sometimes use it, especially after. I get like my hair dyed because my scalp gets really dry and it does help like loosen up my scalp and things like that, which mm, feels kind of gross. <laughs> it feels kind of gross. Maybe I shouldn't have shared that. Someone's car alarm's going off. Last package here. All right, let's see. Balloons. A bunch of balloons. Why? <laughs> because Colleen and I, we like to play volleyball in the house, so we wanted to do it with balloons, so. Yeah. I'm about Girl. to blow the balloons. <laughs> you could have saved yourself so much, so much packaging and wastefulness by just literally, I mean, even driving to a Dollar Tree. I know you love the Dollar Tree. You could probably go get that there. It would have been a pack of balloons probably would have been a dollar twenty-five. Saved yourself money, saved yourself waste. I just like, doesn't make sense to me. Is there a pink one? I want a white one because I like white pinches. I'm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, wifey. All right, listen. I live your truth. <laughs> live your truth, wifey. Let's see if we can do it the quickest. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> So funny. What was that? I don't know, but it tickled my lipical. <laughs> what do you know about tickling your lipical? <laughs> what do you know about the old tickle of the lipical? I would like to know more. Mm, do I? Mm, see, that's why that tooth is trying to escape. That's why that tooth is trying to escape. It's dusty in there. Wait, I just admit I warmed. Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> What's well, like the perfect size to play volleyball? That's gonna pop, babe. It has the little nipple part happening. Oh. <laughs> what do you know about the little nipple part happening? Oh my god, there's just so many things today. So many things today. Wait, now I'm scared it's gonna pop. Girl, please. Please. I think that's perfect. This is what we're doing today. Wait, baby. Oh, sh <laughs> Can you tie this for me? Because I feel uncomfortable. Oh, baby. baby. <laughs> I'm scared it's going to pop. I think I have a new fear of mom. Baby. Oh, my God. We have to bat it with the balloon. We have to have a balloon hand. I... <laughs> Wait, I. How did we get here? How did we get here today? I had listen. Been watching Amberlynn do some some silly childish things for a minute on the internet <laughs> for a minute, but I did not ever anticipate that Amberlynn's idea of fun would be bopping some balloons around her home with her girlfriend. Let alone that she'd be like, "This is this is the entertainment I want to share." on on the YouTube eh? huh <laughs> okay all right okay all right well here we are what was also that, this baby? this car alarm in the background <laughs> oh, shit. baby you're losing <laughs> you're losing <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's fun stuff. Okay, go. So, Flynn oh, and I oh, played. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, I was still trying to process the balloons. What are we doing?
it with with this white goop? <laughs> this white goop all over her hands? I mean, IML weekend just ended in Chicago. I wasn't expecting to see anything else like this anytime soon. No, all this this white creaminess on, on people's hands. Oop black. Is that what it's called, baby? Oop black. Oop black. It's literally just water uh -huh. and cornstarch. And when you touch it, it feels... What is it is really fucking kindergarten arts and crafts time. <laughs> like, I remember making stuff like this in elementary school and other things I remember doing in elementary school is just, like, being obsessed with keeping a balloon off the ground. Like, live your truth, truly. I don't want to, uh, you know, dull your sparkle or take away your joy or whatever. But wow, I was just not expecting all of this. Like, also when I was in elementary education, this is like the kind of stuff I do with kindergartners. Hard, but then it's not. Wait, what about hard? <laughs> it feels hard, but mm. then it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it is so mm -hmm. cool. I, I know a lot about that, Bestie. I know a lot about that. Like, ugh. And then it just melts. Uh-huh. It's literally just cornstarch on water. If you uh, have kids, they'll love this. Because <laughs> us as adults, tell me more. Tell me more about kids loving this. Having so much fun, and like when you hit it from up top, it's literally hard as a rock. Oh my god! But then when you put your hands like this, you sink down. Wow! It's mind blowing. <laughs> we were playing with the slime uh -huh. that a subscriber sent, and then. Flame's like, oh my god, have you ever played with Oublanc? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Oublanc. Oublanc. This is, like, this is what she's been gone? This is what she's been doing while she's been gone? <laughs> this is what we've missed out on? I am shook. This is not... I was expecting her to come back with something tragic that happened or something... And no, instead, we're getting this. We're getting this. This is not what I expected today. I mean, I guess I'm not mad about it. There's the worst thing she could be showing us. No, so. Oh my god. So fun, babe. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. All right. We're children. I don't. I don't. I, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Next day. Next day. Good. 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 So I'm about to have some leftovers. Ooh. I made this delicious vodka sauce. Uh, Feline had this <laughs> earlier. Okay. Uh, but I made this delicious. <laughs> I love that. That is like that's a classic moment right there. That's a classic moment is having like an empty container of some kind of food in the background of a shot being like, oh yeah, that was, do you remember she did that with Becky once? She's like, oh, this Burger King, that was, that was Becky's. That was Becky's. This, this pasta box right here, that was, that was wifey's. That was hers, not mine. I didn't eat it. Vodka sauce pasta last uh -huh. night. So the, there's like, I put some onions, I put some bell pepper, this bell pepper and Asiago chicken sausage, and uh -huh. it's so good. So I'm about to have that so right good. now. So it is the next day, and I'm wearing my new maxi dress. I want, uh, I want to see the leopard one. The type of pasta I used was actually whole grain. So wow. I'm just gonna have a little bit of that. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Oh my gosh, it smells and looks delish. I guess. I've been trying to cook a lot more, obviously. So what Feline and I do is every other night, she cooks, like tonight is her turn, so we just go back and forth. Ugh. So I'm sure you guys have noticed. God, um, God bless wifey for, for eating on the nights that, that you're making the food. I have been taking a little bit of a break. I have. From YouTube. It was I a have. break that I honestly... But also, again, to be clear, it was only like a week. At, at best. At best. Didn't even realize I needed it until it was happening. So that's why I stopped my uploading schedule. Okay. And I don't really know what my schedule is going to be like in the future, to be honest. That's I'm fine. I'm kind of just... I will say, you do your best, though, when you do have pre-recorded stuff and you post every other day. I, I think that's been a pretty good schedule for you. I also now have to wonder, especially since I was expecting some kind of, like, 
dramatic story about why she wasn't posting. Now it kind of just feels like maybe you weren't posting because you couldn't take the heat. Not that I want to join the conspiracy theorists out there of the internet or the speculation theorists of the internet, but like she did conveniently stop posting when Destiny posted all of these stories about her on her channel, you know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, I mean, you could also arguably include the, the time where she like got called out for lying about me too and things like that. I think the Destiny stuff is probably the bigger issue that she would be running from. But I'm just like, it is interesting that that is what happened. I was expecting there to be a larger reason than just like, oh, I needed a break. Which also... I feel that too. Honestly, I'm th that's not necessarily a criticism. Uh, you know, if you if you can't deal with stuff happening on the internet, nobody's making you be on the internet. You know, I definitely stand by that too. Filming a little bit here and there, and then we'll see how I feel because okay. someone's now just did I did I somehow get on the 360p again? Why does it keep popping up 360p? I want to be on the 1080p. Not that it helps the quality of her videos all the time, but she was looking like she was filmed with a potato. Content warning, trigger warning. Just, that's a that's a metaphor. <laughs> that's an analogy, not an actual potato. No potatoes were involved today, except that one right there. Filming or editing every single day. I've been on Instagram, keeping up my online appearance, which is part of my job, and I just, I just feel... Also, like it's time I, for a little break. So I, I get that the concept of Instagram allegedly being a part of her online job, but also it's not really like it is and it isn't like the way she uses it. I don't know that it's really helping her online job at all. But I guess, I guess if we want to clock them hours, if we want to count that towards your paycheck, I say claim it. This time you guys see this, obviously my break. Um, isn't happening anymore, but right. for now, it is. So I am not a tea girly at all, uh -huh. but I no! tea <laughs> for my baby. <coughs> Not me almost dying in two two times of one video. This little claw is killing me. This is so funny. And actually, honestly, I kind of want to get one for Noel. If you don't know, my partner is like almost a foot shorter than me. Not not quite, but almost. And we have all this unused cabinet space because he simply can't reach to the top of it. And I just feel like we could we could be utilizing that. I gotta get him one of these. And I'm oh, but short. be careful. Be careful. So I gotta use this guy. Be careful. <laughs> be careful, though. That does make me a little nervous, oh, okay. actually. Yeah, that. So the tea I am making her is this Tazo Passion Tea. Ooh. This is about to go off. She's about to go off. Let's not. <laughs> At the end of the night, she likes to have some hot tea. And you so make it for her. I ordered takeout in a long time. I got a Diet Coke from Chick Fil A. Get out of here! Know, it didn't hit like I thought it was going to. Yeah, because you got it from fucking Chick Fil A. Here's a, here's the continued the continued thing. I know everybody feels some type of way, and every time I ever bring it up, people are like, "Oh, but the owner took that back. The owner didn't do this." No, the owner keeps donating shit to anti LGBTQIA groups. Why Why couldn't you go get your diet soda from the McDonald's or wherever else you order your $15 sodas from? Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> why? Why? And why are we ordering just a diet soda? What a fucking waste. Again, ethical consumption means that, like, you don't buy from places you don't have to buy from, you know? I just don't get it. I don't get it. I think it's because I prefer Diet Pepsi, like, in the cans, caffeine-free. Then, then why don't you just buy some Diet Pepsi in the cans, caffeine-free? Alrighty. She is now so goofy. I swear to gosh. And then she will drink it when it cools down a little bit. I swear the fuck to gosh. My favorite part of the day. What's that? Opening up the blinds. <laughs> 
Today is nothing but blue skies. What what an enjoyable part of the day. There's actually a YouTube mom that I follow. Her name's Lemonade Mom. And on Instagram, she's constantly waking up the house every day by going through and showing herself opening up all the blinds. And I'm like, that is apparently a thing that people are into. <laughs> We're in my closet. I'm actually just putting away... Some of my clothes. What is this shot? What is um, this angle? This laundry, so I'm putting away some of my underwear. I usually fold them in half twice <laughs> and then roll them. Okay. And I just keep them in the Ooh, what's this little band-aid? What's this little band-aid on your arm? Spot here. She also, 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 wait, Zach, how are you just gonna let it pass that like she's showing us her underwear again? I swear. <laughs> By the moon and the stars in the sky. Uh, she just loves a reason to show us her underwear, which, like, go off, but I'm not about to be showing my drawers and panties on the internet like that. But I've been getting, uh, actually quite a few messages on Instagram. About what? Asking if I'm okay and why I had to go to the doctor that one day, like... You had to go to the doctor? Share why, like, why didn't you, you know, this time... Um, I Wait, she had, she, did she post somewhere? I mean, I am blocked on Instagram, but I thought I was on top of it. When did she have to go to the doctor? Maybe, did she? Did she post about that? I don't know. It's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long. Which also, love, love that she's getting messages about people who are genuinely concerned about her. And she, she couldn't take the two seconds to get on the Instagram and just say like, hey, appreciate the kind messages. I'm fine. Sure, I wanted to talk about it, but unfortunately I started having that lung issue again. And it turns out I have acute pneumonia, so I had to go pick up antibiotics, so I've been on those for a little <sighs> oh bit. Oh my god. Wait, what life. what lung issue? What wasn't the last time she had a lung issue back when she went to the, the ER and she got like 12 different diagnoses? Is, am, am I missing some other lung issue that she had? Just one. And the antibiotics, like, they are helping. I still feel the issue with my lung a little uh -huh. bit. Um, I'm not sure how I got the acute pneumonia. It is a little frustrating. But they told me last year um, that once you get it, it's easy to get it again. And just last year was the first time I've ever had pneumonia. So now I'm just, you know, oh, I, at like a higher risk. The way I can't remember, the way I can't remember all the different things that have helped happened with her health at this point. And not to be shady, but like she's had a lot of different things happen. I did not remember and still not remembering her having pneumonia. But I, I mean, I guess if I really think about it, but I, it's also, there's just been so many things. The lipedema, the lymphedema, the the dangling ankle, whatever was happening with her chest or her back that one time, the things that she was misdiagnosed with, the binge eating disorder that's now a food addiction, just a lot of things. Just a lot of things. I think y'all could understand that it's hard to keep track of. Forgetting it, and I went and saw a doctor my doctor, who I love, and I got put on antibiotics. I got put on two of them. Also, she's just, like, constantly on antibiotics, I feel like. Which, like, my understanding of antibiotics is that, like, eventually you take them too much and they start being less effective. And, yeah, I've had to take them for a week. I actually have to go get a couple more tests done okay. for my jaw surgery because in a couple weeks, I'm actually going to be done with my 12 therapy sessions. So that's like super, super exciting. Work. I'm just making a lot of progress where it needs to be. Sure. So I just wanted to give you all that update because I know people were worried about the doctor thing, but I'm feeling fine. It's just I mean, my only symptom is like, it's like when I breathe in. I wonder, because she said that she, she posts about going to the doctor, I think, on Instagram. And if you only follow her on YouTube, you're probably just as confused as I am. And I and I do keep up with her on the Instagram. Like, this is why I'm like, is Instagram really helping you or hurting you right now, girly? I'm like, it feels like there's fluid. Honestly, that's the best way to put it. And... That's how acute pneumonia feels, supposedly. I trust the doctors. Last time this happened, 
I got the antibiotics and it was better. So okay. Yeah. Um, I just didn't really want to share it because of course I kind not. of felt maybe low key embarrassed, but I mean it is what it is. <sighs> it happened. I mean people get sick, girl. I don't know. I I I don't I don't know why this would be any more embarrassing than literally any other diagnosis you've gotten in the past year or two. It's what I'm going through. So the only thing I can do is take the medicine and do what the doctors tell me to Co do. Correct. Bye. See you later. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. What a whirlwind of a video. Not what I was expecting at all. Actually, I would have expected that pneumonia talk at the beginning of the video to explain why she hadn't been around, but it doesn't sound like, like that's really the reason that she wasn't around. So, okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. Whatever. Listen, I'm just here to watch. I'm just here to watch and enjoy and give you my thoughts along the way. So, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Did you enjoy the, the goop? content, the white creamy goop content, the balloon content. Are y'all into balloon play? <laughs> what a way to start off Pride Month with Amber Lynn Reed. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. I love you all so much. Thanks so much. If you're brand new here, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I had so much fun today. I'll see you all next time. Bye!